What's good, YouTube? Nabby Boon 92 here, back again once again. And today, people, today, I have another Pokemon X and Pokemon Y Wi Fi battle for you guys against Negro Nick, aka Sacred Fire Negro. I should probably say that the other way around because, like, his channel name is Sacred Fire Negro, but he goes by Negro Nick. So, Sacred Fire Negro, aka Negro Nick. This is a battle that we had the other night on Twitter. Uh, some of you guys may have seen us going back and forth about it. I know a couple of you guys were asking about me uploading it, whether I would or not. And of course, I'm going to upload it because the shit was ridiculous. Wait till you see this fucking battle. The plays, man, the plays. But anyways, as you can see, Nick is rocking the Pokebank power, and I knew he was going to be doing that. I know he's all about them legends and shit as of late, so I decided to swap out the Mega Venusaur on my regular little OU team here, and uh, go ahead and slide the Mega Gengar in, and I guess it was okay because everyone wants to talk about how legends have tears and shit. As of 5th gen, Genesect is Ubers, right? So, Mega Gengar being Ubers, we both have an Ubers on our team, so it kind of balances out there. But anyways, he leads with his Genesect, of course, the shiny red Genesect. Oh my lord, shiny Genesect. And I led with the safe lead of Scrub-A-Dub. scrub dub can pretty much do nice damage equally to everyone on his team, so I was really concerned about it. It was a decent lead, and for the most time, scrub going to take a hit as he took the U-turn there. It didn't take it very well, but he took it either way. So he's going to go ahead and U-turn out here. Got to protect that shiny, nice Genesect. And the only thing on his team that can really take a hit from Rotom well, I would say, um, is his own Rotom. And I figured that's what he was going to go out to, but the Hydro Pump did enough damage for me. My um, timid max speed Rotom actually outsped his. Um, so I was happy about that, because 9 times out of 10, whenever my Rotom goes up against another Rotom, it fucking gets outsped, and I hate it. I hate it to no fucking end. But I went ahead and went out to Nigel here, because I figured no matter what his Rotom does, Nigel's going to tank it pretty well. He's not running that fucking reflect light screen Rotom that Koban Armani 456 runs. I hate that shit, but it is what it is. Uh, we eat up the Hydro Pump, and we eat up the Volt Switch as well. And I guess he predicted me going for the Rocks here, because I know he's got that Charizard on his team. That's the only Mega he's rocking. So we went ahead and went out to Charizard before I could get my Rocks up, which sucks. It sucks. It does. It really does. But I'm still going to go ahead and get my Rocks up just in case he wants to bring that bitch back. Just in case he wants to take it back in. But I'm going to swap out Nigel because I'm not ready for that little wall of mine to die just yet. I'm not ready for it to go out just yet. But I will go ahead and tank off or tank off or kill off whatever the hell you want to say. Kill off my Rotom Wash here because, I mean, he's done what he needs to do. Uh, it'll, be, it'll be nice for me to get the good switch in. And, of course, the sun's going to go up with drought. And that's going to be a problem here in a minute, as you'll see. But the sun does go up with drought, and that combined with the flamethrower allows him to get the kill on my scrub -a But like I said, I'm perfectly fine with it. It's okay. It's okay to kill off a Pokemon every once in a while, just so I can get a clean switch in. So I go into Bongo, the Azumarill, the power, the power, the power. And I go for the Aqua Jet. Aqua Jet, still, even with the sun up, does a nice 50%, maybe even more, I love it. I absolutely love it. And Nick is not about to leave this Charizard in because the Zoom World is about to eat up this Solar Beam. Motherfucking... Oh my god, he eats solar beans for breakfast. Full health of Zoom roll. If I would have taken any damage, I wouldn't have lived that. But luckily, I lived it with 5 HP, and that's all I fucking needed because that forced him to swap out because he knew he wasn't going to take another Aqua Jet from the Zoom roll. But I did go for the Aqua Jet, and because the sun was up, I didn't get the kill on Rotom. But that's fine because another Aqua Jet's going to do him in. So <laughs> it's not even that big of a deal. Not even worried about it. So both Rotoms on both teams are now down. That's good because two Levitate Pokemon out of the way, and Rotom Wash is good, period, just because of his fucking typing. Rotom Wash is a fucking monster, that's why everyone runs him. But, of course, out comes the Smeargle. He didn't set up with him, even though he's going to try to right now. Because the sun is up again, I can't get the max damage out of the Aqua Jet that I wanted to get. So he goes ahead and puts my, my Azumarill to sleep. And, of course, that's what everybody fucking does with Smeargle. I mean, I could have, in, the, in retrospect, I could have swapped back out to Nigel, the Ferrothorn, and fucked him over with the, 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 the Spore. But he probably still would have gone for the Sticky Webs and everything else because, uh... Maybe not. The stones were out. I could have gone for a power whip and killed his Smeargle, and he would have just gotten maybe just uh, the sticky webs up, or... I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's neither here nor there, but... He goes in, goes for the parting shot, and gets his Smeargle out of there, just in case he needs to set up with it again, or have a Death Fighter Pokemon of his own. And Azumarill is just chilling here with 5 HP. Knock the fuck out. It would be really, really nice if he would wake up, and I can get an Aqua Jet off on this Landorus. That would be really, really nice. Really, really nice. Even though it's the, we, got, we got the Intimidate off, too, but... Bongo, unfortunately, does not wake up, and, um, that is the end of Bongo, unfortunately, which, which sucks, it sucks, because even with 5 HP, an Aqua Jet, Choice Bandit, Azumarill, huge power, huge power, it's still gonna do serious damage to everyone on his team, but that sucks, it's whatever, so out comes King Boo, now, most people run Choice Scarf Landorus, and that's the idea I had going with this, I was like, he's gonna either predict me to Mega Evolve and go for an Earthquake, or he's choiced into Earthquake, so I stopped, and I didn't Mega Evolve Gengar, 
I left him the way he is, so he still had Levitate, and Nick went for the Earthquake. The mind games, people! The mind games! It's fucking outplayed. I'm sorry, Nick. I'm sorry, Nick. Straight outplayed his motherfucking Landorus. And that was nice, because Landorus is a threat. And we got some nice damage off of the Shadow Ball, the Stab Shadow Ball. And now we can get the Mega Evolve off into the Shiny Mega Gengar! I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And of course, he goes out to Smeargle. So, Shadow Ball's not gonna do shit because he's a normal type. So, like I said, again, he used the parting shot on the Smeargle just to keep him in, just to fuck with me like that. But it is what it is. Dazzling Gleam puts him away, and out comes his Genesect. Of course, a lot of people run Choice Scarf Genesect, and that is enough to outspeed a Mega Gengar. So, it kind of scares me a little bit. It kind of scares me a little bit. But he goes for a U turn. I, I don't remember what the hell I went for there. Maybe Shadow Ball. I guess I figured I was gonna live whatever the hell he was gonna send at me with, uh, full HP, because a lot of people, Gengar is frail, he is a glass cannon, but most hits, unless it's super effective, or like a Dragon Dance boosted move or some shit, most hits Gengar can live, he can live at least one hit if, if you get outsped, but it is what it is, and obviously he's not Choice Scarf because he didn't outspeed my Gengar, but it doesn't matter, because his Landorus is dead, it is gone, it is dead, it is gone. Ain't nobody care. Ain't nobody care. And out comes a Keldeo. Could you imagine how pissed I would be if Gengar dies to Keldeo? Oh my god, I would never live it down. But we outspeed, of course, and we go for the Dazzling Gleam, and that gets some nice damage off. If only it could have killed, if only it could have killed. I'm pretty sure he's rocking a Hidden Power Ghost on this. That's why I did so much damage. Um, but don't even matter. Does not even matter because we live it. Like I said, Gengar can live one hit normally. He's not going to take hits very well, but he can normally live one hit. So the second Dazzling Gleam kills off the Keldeo. Out comes his Genesect again. At this point, Gengar's health is so low that I'm not really trying to save it. It's okay if he dies because uh, it'll, it'll allow us to get the clean switch in, which is perfectly okay. I'm okay. Gengar put in work. He killed the Pokemon that he needed to kill. He killed half the team. The Smeargle, the Landorus, and the Keldeo. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. So down goes the Mega Gengar. He's got his Choice Scarfed. Uh, ta um, I have Talonflame. He's got Choice Scarfed Genesect. And uh, what the hell is a Genesect to a Talonflame? death instant death and it sucks for him because i'm pretty sure at this point in the match look at this one hp fuck out of here i'm pretty sure at this point in the match all he's got left is his mega charizard y and genesect he can't swap into charizard y because the rocks are going to kill him and the choice scarfed uh genesect is locked into flamethrower and that's not going to do anything to talent flame either so we're going to lock and load another brave bird real quick and uh pick apart the team and i'm pretty sure that is it for the battle i was actually kind of surprised at how how it turned out just because of the fact that he was rocking so many uh, legends on his team, which I guess proves that just because you have legends does not mean that you have all the power behind you. But at the same time, uh, I really like this battle because of the uh, Levitate Gengar, the the hold off on the Mega Evolution. I, I fucking love that. I'm so proud of myself for that play. But like I said, the stones go ahead and kill off Charizard Y, and that will wrap up the battle for me against Sacred Fire Nigga. But of course, his channel and Twitter will be linked in the description. Make sure you check it out. He does Wi-Fi battles himself and Let's Plays too. He's in the middle of an egg lock right now, so go check him out for me if you can. Smash that like button for me too if you enjoyed the Wi-Fi battle, the Gengar Switch and all that. I love it. I'm just, I'm just so content. I fucking love that play. But yeah, besides that, you guys, smash that like button for me if you haven't. And of course, thank you for checking out the video. You know me, YouTube, Nap192. I'm out.